down tonight. I'm here with my old friend. My first ever return guest. Ron. Ron Dude! It's good, yo. All the way from New Orleans. Yeah. How, how are you hanging out in California today? What's going on? It's doing some real good. It's a nice vibe, you know. I miss being back in Cali. Yeah. Here for some videos, shooting some music videos. Hi. Studio, you know. So, what's been going on since you came last time? You graduated? Yeah, I graduated college, yeah. That's so tired. I know your mom's super proud. Yeah, she off my back now. I'm <laughs> kind of moving around. I'm moving around. Now you can chase your dreams? Yeah, for real. Now it's going to be me. You know, yeah. the black mamas do not play. I didn't yeah. raise you yeah. to be out here doing this and that. At all. That's tight. Yeah. And I see you going up on TikTok, you're very consistent. Yeah, I've been posting more on there. At first, I was like, kind of like, just so like on Twitter and Instagram. I feel like I've been kind of like broadening my audience, like mm -hmm. just getting more on different apps and just, mm -hmm. you know, because I, I ain't really good with TikTok shit. Like, I, I mess with it, but like, it's just like the algorithm real weird. Like, yeah. You can hit like a thousand videos in one video, but then the same video can hit like a hundred views, and the next week you can hit another thousand. It's like, it's weird as shit. You gotta not take it personal because TikTok will humble you. Very much so. And I stopped uh, doing that because the same thing. Like, I'll get a video, it'll have 10,000 views. I'll check them all out. Oh my God. And then yeah. all the other ones, 200, yeah. 250. That's crazy. But then I started looking at celebrities when they started to come on TikTok. And it's like, oh, they're getting the same kind of Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same for everybody. So it don't matter. I, I need to take it TikTok is, is more fair, I guess. Yeah, because like, coming from my like, Twitter and shit, I'm using my shit like 20,000, 30,000, yeah. 40,000 like a day. That's how I found you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like, hey, that in a day. I come to TikTok. <laughs> Like the same video hit like 50,000 views. Actually, one video I posted on, on Twitter hit like a million. And the same video I posted on TikTok hit like 200 views. I was like, fuck. The like, disrespect. Yeah, like the disrespect. Like, but like, this is the algorithm, so I don't really swear to too much. Yeah. Though. So you were telling me before we started, you're filming a video for an actual song that just a freestyle. We yeah. kind of all know you on the internet yeah. as a freestyle artist. So it's exciting for you. Yeah, I got a song called The Steven. I'm shooting that Monday. That should be coming out. It's like what, July right now? Yeah, so I should be coming out like probably like the end of August. Okay. We'll push it out. I got a Steven coming. I got another song I'm shooting called The Curse. That's probably gonna come out before the Steven. So I'm just I'm gonna drop the songs with the video, which is gonna be a straight video, I'm just drop. And then I'm just keep pushing these singles out until I feel like I'm gonna do like another EP or mixtape. Mm -hmm. But I recently took all my songs off just because I'm I'm coming back to like this rebrand type vibe. Okay. So like I'm just like rebrand myself a little bit, but yeah, that's what I've been working on. I got some songs coming. So. That's what I was thinking about because before I came here, I went to look at some of your older songs we talked about before, so I didn't ask you the same stuff. And mm -hmm. I'm like, what happened to the songs? Yeah, I took them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I took them all. Like, a couple of people was hitting me in my DM, like, what are the songs? And I took them all. But I'm coming out with some new shit. So, like, okay. Yeah, so, you want so to be a different vibe going to yeah, be fresh? Yeah, a whole different vibe. Yeah. All right. Like, erase the whole old day, new day. So, both of us, I think we have to acknowledge this because it's, um, I read a book about being more grateful, you know, taking mm -hmm. your moments along the journey. Because when you reach success, it'll be hard or why people are dissatisfied because it's like, oh, I got here and now what? So, yeah. you got to appreciate the journey. So, both of us have increased or, you know, got better yeah. since the first time we came. Very so, the good. first time uh, I interviewed Roger Day, he came, he just had one friend with him. <laughs> This time he's got a whole crew of people got cameras. Yeah. They look professional. It's given, uh, yeah. you know, artists, established artists. And then I was using my friend, uh, his office in his fancy apartment building to shoot my podcast because I had no money. And since then my yeah. channel was monetized. Yeah. So look at that. That's a blessing right Yeah, we're coming out slowly. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's progress. It's so steps. you're out in LA this time. Is there anything that like you wanted to do before you came that you maybe didn't have time to do that you're going to do now? Tour style? Oh no, nah, I didn't. I think I didn't get everything told you all in that. Like, yeah. I, I think I didn't get everything I could do. I'm just kind of out here just making moves now. Okay, that's what's up. You got it. Just New Orleans, my favorite city in America. Yeah, everybody can tell me that. I, I, fuck, I fuck with my city. I like more. I just I like it out here a little more though. It's like chill Vegas. Yeah. New Orleans. Go around, get drink. Mm -hmm. The food is good. People yeah. are not gonna bother you. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, well, people won't bother me. They be wild. You go on the wrong street, like you go on Bourbon. It, it's like. People outside, fucking oh, drunk people and shit. crackheads running around, <laughs> butt naked and shit. Oh my god! I've never seen that outside of New Orleans. I've seen oh, like the walking neighbor. Yeah, I've you seen nothing like walk. I don't see nothing wild. Like crazy. you must have been on a good day. <laughs> you must have been one of the good days. People was outside. It was people outside. Yeah, it was people outside. Oh, shit. They would be regular. Maybe it was old people. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe it was like yeah. a holiday or something. When I went there in Mardi Gras, there was a little boy. I would never forget this. There was a little boy. I can tell he was like middle school at most. He had a yeah. camera out on his phone. He was like, tits for Facebook? Tits for Facebook Live? We're so like, tits for Facebook Live? Yes. And he was yeah. a kid, a kid. So like, that's the wildest thing I've seen before. That's not the moment right there. <laughs> it's my definitely. 
and like a bunch of uh, naked soccer moms painted like butterflies. That's the wild thing I've seen. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never seen that. <laughs> and then you got you, you guys have your random weed world truck or something that doesn't really weed have weed. Truck. I never see that. That's new. You see the weed world truck? I don't know what it is, but you know, I'm, he knows what I'm talking about. Oh, and it's like, they're everywhere down there. If you go to it, they don't got weed. So what is this? Is it like snacks? It's something you probably, want, probably shouldn't want to try. Yes, it's random. So. That is crazy. Nah, you <laughs> should try. What's the craziest thing you've seen in LA? In LA? Man, I've seen a, a homeless person, right? A homeless person was actually chasing somebody with his feces. That's real. Like, like he asked somebody for a dollar, and dude was like, "I'm not a dollar." And then he went in the store and came back out to hella groceries and took money. Mm -hmm. Man, he was like, "Man, you took me here a dollar." He was like, "Nah, I don't got a dollar." He, took me. he went in a bag. He got like a bag of shit. And he, <laughs> he was, was walking lame. around. He was walking around like chasing him with this shit. That's the like down thing. fucking uh, Vine Vine Street in um, Hollywood, walk walk stars and shit up. Yeah, yeah. Chased him down the walk of fame. Are you, are you sure you like it out here better? You I like it. I mean, it's certain spots, it's certain places. Don't get me wrong. I'm a Malibu type of guy. I like, okay. I like, like, like the beach. You know what I'm saying? Like, you did freestyles there, right? Like on the cliffs or something by the beach? I did a music video on the beach. There you go. Okay. I did a music video on the beach, yeah. Okay. I did a freestyle in, uh, like, Mahalan Drive. Okay, I was like, it was the yeah. Tesla. The yeah, yeah, it was that one. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. seen a bunch of your freestyles on the Yeah. Got too many. All right, so what's the vibe with these new songs? Alright, so, right, so Willis, Willis Steven is probably just like more of like a, like a trap vibe type, like like a party club. Some of you in the club and you walk in, like okay. like a hard song. Hard like, hard beat. Hard beat, hard beat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the curse is more like a Kanye sample hip hop type of mm -hmm. just rapping. I mean, I want to get like two different vibes. Okay. Yeah. So how since you're rebrand, how are you rebranding? I see you got new merch. We're gonna show the merch. Somebody give it to me. You hand me that show? The merch is right, it's right here right on the front of the table. Yeah, we got the Rotterdam merch. Where can they buy it at? Uh, it's not even out yet, really. We just oh. doing like we just doing like prototypes right now. Okay, cool. It's like the, here you go, Rotterdam. I can look by just the rest on the right side. Right we got some new designs coming and stuff soon. And if you like for, if you forgot, this is from because Rotterdam is a fan of Drake. Realist on the rise. Yeah. So it's realist on the rise. Buy something, support when it's out. Yeah, when it's so out. So you're gonna launch all of this when you launch the yeah, project, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so yeah, with this rebrand, tell us about it. Which, what is your direction? How do you want us to feel? You know. Uh, I just want to like establish myself, with just like being somebody that just got slaps. Okay. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, people just really like a lot of people know me like just bars and punchlines and all that. And that's I'm hip hop to the core, so I'm gonna always do that. But like, I just want to be like, oh, he got chunks, like he got slaps, like. Playing it everywhere, like mm -hmm. in your car, in your girlfriend's car, in your girlfriend, girlfriend, friend car, in your mama car, in your daddy car, clubs, bars, radio, like I want to like my, hear my songs everywhere. All right. So it's like it's really like the direction I'm going to just make it for the songs. Cause the rapping, I, I, I've been, I didn't master rap since I was maybe like 10, 12. I've been doing that since like I was at elementary school. So. And you proved that already yeah. online to everybody yeah, that like knows. Everybody that knows can spit. So like, I'm really just trying to make like my songs and shit better and like establish myself as like. Somebody that can make like hits, okay. you know what I mean? So right. that's really like the whole rebrand I'm going for. That's why I took most of my stuff down, just, you know, mixing and mastering my art better, uh, you know, getting better production, you know, just a lot of better stuff, just like upgrading for what I was doing. Okay, so instead of asking you what artist do you feel like your music is reminiscent of or whatever, if you, you know, people do playlisting now, that's how people get hot or get a lot of streams. Exactly. If you were on a playlist, what kind of other people would be on your playlist? Like, if I like this person, I like Robert Davies, you know? Uh, I might move my new shit. Yeah, it's, 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 that's really hard for me to say because like, I got like a hell of a lot of different vibes. Like, I got like. It's a playlist, you can name seven uh, people, uh, like, you know? Seven, or seven. types of songs. Uh, Rafa Nine. Rafa, okay. Rafa. He's on the new uh, Utopia with Travis Scott. Rafa, or not if you feel like you don't know him. Uh, Corday, I see. Corday, all right. Uh, who else? Simba. Simba. La Russell. La okay. Uh, like La people Russell. like that. Uh, yeah, that's probably why I stopped. That's right. Right. Would you do uh, La Russell's? What is what is he called in his backyard? I don't know. I'll be seeing it on Instagram all the time. I just don't know. Yeah, about. would you perform at it? Oh, fuck it. Because he like is supporting the whole independent people yeah. on the so yeah. I like his whole I like his whole mindset about the industry. I just yeah, love La Russell Rotterdam. Let's get him back. Oh, I think it's called the Pergola. Let's get him in the Pergola. Yeah, I definitely do it. We'll pay to see.
spin a little something back and forth. Let me see, what, see what his pen is. Oh yeah, that would be tight. Cause we're supposed to be coming off the top like you a lot yeah. in the videos. Yeah, you can see. You're doing a little different. That's tight. Yeah, for sure, that'd be fine. All right. What about in your hometown? Would you do any type of pop up shows? And you did the House of Blues. That was a really big deal. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. What you open up for? Uh, Earth Game. Earth Game. I said Earth. <laughs> Earth Game. Earth Game. We know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that experience? That was fire, man. Shout out to Z. Shout out to my manager, uh, Seth. He set everything up with that. But mm -hmm. it, was, it was fire, man. We had Mike Dimes there. Uh, Poe Baby. Shout out to Poe Baby from Atlanta. Another artist like me. Uh, yeah, it was fire. It was great vibes. Great people. You know? He was wearing some NRK, some no respect. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? No respect, man. It was tight. I felt yeah. like, oh, yeah. Look at my braids. It was yeah. so cool. I had the whole set on the jeans. I mean, the uh, pants with the industry. Yeah. You know, so I fuck with it. Who, uh, who do you want to perform with next? Or who would you go on tour with? You already want to with Earth Gang? I want to go with, uh, with J. Cole. With J. Okay, yeah. Dream Builder. Would you, as long as you're doing you know what they ask? Hell yeah. Okay. I mean, make sure that, make sure everything, like, business. Clearly. Is right. Hell yeah. Yeah. I feel like J. Cole would give me a slimy deal. I feel like he would show some love. And I like it that it's so many young people. It's different vibes that you can do. Like, certain record labels, you got to fit in with them. Yeah. You know, to be on it. But Dream Builder got such a wide Yeah, man. I feel like it, it's like, it's wrong for any type of artist. Yeah. And they handle like all type of jobs. Yeah, and y'all, you could get the mean collabs on the Greenville tapes. Yeah, yeah, that should be fun. You would burn that. That should be fun. Me and J. Cole have a, a song about college and shit. Like, that should just be fun. Yeah. Like, you get like, the same type of shit. I wonder if they're going to do another camp like they did for that Greenville collaboration. Or oh, like the writers camp they had yeah. in the studios. Yeah, that should be fun. Yeah, we got to get you in there. Sure. We got a campaign. How many oh, signatures do we need on our petition? Also, I want to put this on here too. I, I, I want to also go on tour with uh, Quinn Miller. Oh, Quinn Miller. I, I, I know people don't really like listen to him and shit like that, but like, he, he hard as fuck. Yeah, he's not. He's not That's why we all know his name because yeah, he has a kid. Yeah, for sure. I fuck with Quinn Miller. All right. Quinn yeah. Miller. Ride or day. You want to sure. make some songs on too? Could you clap? Fuck him right. Quinn okay. Miller hard. Since, since I talked to you last time, I asked you about girl rap and you really did support girl rap. I asked all the guys about that because a lot of guys don't be fucking with it. Yeah. Texas, they be biased. Yeah. Who out, is out now that you feel like you would maybe do a song with? Ice Spice. <laughs> Ice Spice. I fuck with uh, and Ruby Rose. And Ruby Rose. Yeah. Okay. What kind, of, what kind of songs are you going to make? You make party songs? Yeah, some fun songs. All right. Yeah. Here, give me one more, girl. Let me do a girl. Coyle Ray, all right. She has, she does a lot of samples. Yeah, that's why I like her. She got like old school vibes. Yeah. Like all right. As a freestyle person, which one of the Coyle Ray songs do you want to get on? Uh, I didn't catch another flight. We don't want to bite. I just want to have a good night. Okay. I hope that's it. I feel like I'm crazy. We love it. Are you gonna have any girls in the project? Hopefully, uh, I'm actually collaborating with this girl. Uh, she from my area, named Ryan. Okay. She graduated from uh, UCLA. Sorry. She got a dope ass voice. I, I connected with her on Instagram. We actually got a song coming. Did she sing or rap? She sing. All right, Ryan, the singer. We love to see it. Y'all gonna do a video? Uh, hopefully, yeah. I just wanna see how the record comes out first, okay. but I sent that record to her, so we see how it goes. Oh, how do you assemble this whole crew of people now? Oh, uh, well, my friend, uh, Glenn, he's actually on like a movie right now. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, shooting waters and they, uh, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Behind the lens, he, he's on the same one, so they kind of like got connected like that. Okay. And then I actually met Jeremy, uh, my friend Knox. He has a, uh, he, he throws like the show like, every year, and uh, we we performed out there, and he was there with another artist. But like him and Glenn knew each other, so I was like, oh shit, so we just connected like that. Mm -hmm. And then we just, I just planned this whole thing. You be hanging out around with a lot of people that do like TV and film. First time I met you, your friend was on the Hulu show. Are you yeah. gonna be on the show? Or are you, you yeah, I do. I, I've acted on a couple shows. Not, oh, yeah? not, not, not like, like saying words. Yeah, like. like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get more into it though. I be trying to focus more on the music though. Sure. I fuck with like being on the set shit. I, I like mm -hmm. I like doing that shit. So. What kind of movie would you be in? Your ideal movie? Like a, like a like an action like rush hour type. Movie. Oh, you said <laughs> equal life. No, <laughs> it's gotta be funny. I don't be like Chris Tucker. Like, okay, some that's funny cool. shit. Some funny action movie type All shit. All right. I like some shit like that. All right. Would you do a uh... or like or like like a Fifty Cent Power type shit? Like, All right. Shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with? Are you discriminatory? Are you gonna be anybody? Like, would you be in a two beat movie, or you want to go? You want to come out right? Oh, I, I'll do anything. <laughs> as long as, you, as long as the check, the check clear is good. I I'll feel that. I'll be two PBS. I'm good. Whatever you do, sir. Yeah, the money coming. I'm gonna be. So we got merch. We got new songs. Yeah. We got the possibility of acting. Yeah, possibility. 
You got, what are your, are your music videos? Are you making them like cinematic or is it gonna be you rapping in front of like locations, cars, this, that? I got these first two music videos, it's gonna be like that. It's okay. not gonna be cinematic. I, I wanna plan something out more cinematic, but mm -hmm. I kinda just, I'm just excited about the song, like yeah. the music. So I just wanna get the song and music out. Also, cool. now I feel like with the whole content thing, it's probably better to shoot stuff like that because you can shoot it fast, you can put it out, yeah. you can like edit it a bunch of ways. Then trying to wait and, and have a budget to yeah. film this video and it's going to get the same reception. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like it's more like easy to just mm -hmm. shoot them up. Do you like the uh, the fly on the boss girls? Hello, Christ, I'm about to sing again. They're like running through everywhere. i never seen them. you never seen them on TikTok? i never seen them. Do you guys know what that is? Fly on the boss? One more time. They're they're running through any place, and the, the rap is "Hello Christ, I'm about to sin again." <laughs> and they're like running through the store, running through here, running through there. I didn't see that. I don't know. I haven't seen that. Dang! I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. Man, now I gotta show it to you. Uh, yeah, you gotta show it. Gotcha. Yeah, because I feel like they're doing like viral content. Yeah, yeah. That's what you could do, but I don't know if it's like. Just running in like a random store, like hey. They're running all over the place, man. For real, I gotta pull it up. Cause you're like viral. That's how I found you. So you guys can make some type of challenge idea. Yeah. <laughs> and they're running around. So they were anyway. They have the Amazon. They're here. They're like, and they've done it everywhere. Oh, like wow, Missy Elliott retweeted them. All types of stuff. That's fine. And it's like what so you're just like. They just running the stores and singing. Running song. anywhere. Running at the beach. So I feel like that's kind of what you're like. Content. So yeah. you can. What would your you know viral thing be? You was rapping. Yeah. You could really really rap. So it's like. You gotta add something with it. What could you do? Maybe running is not your thing. Uh, I don't know. I really. You gotta take time. To think. Yeah, I gotta take time. To think, but I really just be letting like, the lyrics be. But I mean, you know, it's not it's not bad to have something that's like a niche that people like attach to. Yes, to you. To you. Um, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Maybe I'll find mine sooner, sooner than later. But right now, it's just right now, it's just freestyling. Just when I think about writing. I just think about freestyling. Yeah. I feel like you could beat anyone, or at least you would make them, you know, nervous. I don't know about freestyle and beating anyone, but like I feel like my pen is, 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 is I beat anyone with my pen, like writing. Okay. I feel like I'm. A, I feel like I'm. A, I feel like that's my best talent, is writing. Right. Like not even just raps, like in general, just writing. Oh, so you can write. A, you can write a story. You can write your yeah, own yeah, film. Yeah. Okay. I just saw the uh, what is it called? Circus Maximus with Travis Scott. Yeah. It was cool. It was good promo. I gotta go check that out. I heard the album. I mean, I had, uh, Did you like the album? I fuck with it. Yeah, it's like a party. It's very at the festival. It's gonna crazy. It's different. I, I like the music. I like the fact that it's different. It don't sound like nothing here. No. It's some different shit. Um, but for the rollout thing, part of it was this movie. You're a good writer. You can make something to go with your music. That's yeah. the box up on socials. Not for sure. Yeah. I'm getting to that for sure. What kind of? What kind of? What kind of shows and stuff do you be watching? I watch Power. Force, uh, well, the whole Power Universe. I'm gonna name every, every day. Power Universe. The Power Universe. I watch everything on Power. I watch, um, I watch All American, All American Homecoming. I watch. They got the show on, on Apple TV called Hijack with Idris Elba. Okay. I, okay. I watch that. Um, I watch Ozark. Ozark was that? I watch. I watch a lot of shit. So would you do sync like have your music in shows? Yeah. And you want to make like action. I feel like that would be a good segue for you. Yeah, yeah. Like how Metro like just got into Spider Man because he made that. Yeah. Song. Yeah, I, I have my show on, so I mean, my song on shows, anything. That's what's up. Yeah. I like the show that you like, I feel like that would go up. Like you would be happy. You go oh, yeah, I'm watching my shit on the show. On, on the, the show. Watch, yeah. 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 yeah like a bunch of the girls were trying to get their song on P Valley. Oh, I fuck with P Valley. I forgot that's another show I watch. Well, Murray. I mean, I, I watch. I watch I watch, I watch certain parts of it, <laughs> but I fuck with the show. I fuck with you people. can watch the whole show. You don't have to be homophobic. You can fast forward it, 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 those parts. It's not even about being homophobic. It's just some things that I, I don't want to see. You don't want to see. I don't, don't, don't want to watch. Like, for, like you know what I mean? Okay. It's nothing against, you know, yeah, I'm going to whatever you got yeah, going on. Yeah, okay. I feel it. Would you want your song to be valid? Or would you write for Lil Murder? For Lil Murder? I, I write some for Lil Murder. Lil Murder, he low key got hit. He's not a real rapper. Yeah, he's not a real rapper. I, I, write, I write him a song or something. The check clear. The check clear. Yeah, that's all it's about. That was cool. Would you play like a rapper in a movie or you feel like that's too stereotypical? You I play a rapper in a movie? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I've seen that with Dreezy. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah, but like, it's expected. Yeah, yeah. like it's not different. Like Beyonce and Dreezy and Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I definitely play a rapper in a movie. I should be tight. I write one or two. 
real bars. I'm, I'm at the if I if I play a rap in a movie, I would have to like rap the shit out. I'm not rapping with like a rapper. Like, so you wouldn't want to be like in the Wu Tang show and play a different rapper. Like, oh, play a rapper that's like different. Music. That's that's history. Okay, okay. I'm talking about like on like like Disney a fictional channel, like, like like Let It Shine or some shit. <laughs> let like, it shine. I get killed by like another rapper. Like nah, I'm not rapping my shit. <laughs> Getting killed by another rapper is wild. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think it's a check big enough for me to take a role I get beat like a rap battle on TV. Okay, yeah, that's embarrassing. That's just, yeah, that's just not me. Like, I wouldn't want, yeah. I wouldn't want to get my ass beat nothing on TV. Fuck, oh, no. Take me So that's forever? Yeah, literally. If people are ignorant, it's hard for them to separate what they see. When so you just start taking ass, they bring up the little memes. <laughs> yes, oh yeah, yeah. Like, you don't want the meme to be associated with you forever. Yeah. Hell no. That's terrible. All right, so we got new music coming out. We got merch. We got you know acting possibilities and stuff. Performances. Do you have any performances coming up? Uh, I was supposed to go on tour with Mike Dimes. I'm still trying to see like what's going on with that. Uh, whenever he tours, I know he just dropped his album. Shout out to him. Uh, but other than that tour that I'm supposed to be going on, it's nothing really like planned right now. I'm really just focusing on like getting the music out there right now. I'm just locked in the studio, just yeah. creating different vibes. I fuck, if I fuck with the song, keep it. If I don't, trash it. You know, just create different shit. I'm just, I'm just in the kitchen right now, so. What is the studio life like? Do you get tired of it? Or are you just in there? Are you just trying them all the time? It's, it's tired, but like, it's, it's fun though. Like, when I got my friends and shit, like, sometimes it'd be fun. I had them. Like, sometimes when I'm trying to focus on some shit, I just go by myself and just get it out of the way. Or when it's like a fun vibe, I'll just tell my friends pull up. But it's fun though. It's like, I like, I love making music, so like, whether I'm in the studio or whether I'm in my room writing the song, like, the, the process is still fun. I like coming up with new things. Like the fun for me is just finding different things that I ain't gonna say nobody has said because I feel like everybody said everything, but different ways to say everything. Yeah. Like just making different songs, hooks. It's just fun. I like I love writing music, so like the whole process is fun. So it's how like do you, how do you like find music? Do you have a person you work with, or do you go and like? Yeah, I mean people just people send me beats like my, my like email. Yeah. Yeah. Like they send that shit all, like, especially like when I post TikToks and shit, niggas mm-hmm. in my DM, like, I just sent you six beats, I just sent you ten beats, I just went through there, I found what I like. How do you tell people that like, their beats, you know, it's not what you don't, or do you just not reply? I don't know why. Cause I, see yeah, that I feel like my mom always told me, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. So I agree, shout I just out to don't say nothing. Cause I see other people in your position yeah, roasting yeah. people that send them beats online. Yeah, I feel like that's what I like. They'll play it, they like, you sent me this bullshit ass beat. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like Donald nobody, man. Yeah, they yeah. try. I feel like if you're trying, you win. You, if you're not trying, that's when you lose. So like, I agree. as long as you're trying, you're doing something. So what's the what is the new sound? Like what are you trying to go for? You said like just more songs because we're familiar with your freestyle. Yeah. And you gave us some artists. Yeah. What do you think about your sound? It's all over the place. Sometimes I'll be I'll be have a full blown R and B song, then I switch it to like a full blown rap song, mm-hmm. then I switch it to like some trap. Hip hop, like you know, mm-hmm. it's like I feel like I got like, a whole lot of different sounds. So I'm, I'm really just trying to like take each thing and just make what I'm gonna make out of it all. Are you gonna just keep putting, like you said, singles out until yeah. you feel like people gravitate towards one sound? And that's you definitely need to exploit that. that. I feel like the whole album and mixtape thing is kind of like played out for people that's trying to up, like be up and coming artists because, like, you gotta look at it from like the consumer's standpoint. Like, if if I don't know who you are. What makes you think I'm gonna to listen to an 18 song project by a nigga that I don't even know? Like, that don't make no sense. So, I'm gonna just hit you with some singles, maybe like two two minutes and 30 seconds each, three minutes maybe, maybe, you know, some short, just to like get the attention span, like, yeah. something that they'll pay attention to long. Man. And for streaming, like, it would almost be better to just put out 18 songs than trying to wait and make a match and all go together yeah, yeah. because it's gonna end up on a playlist, people are just gonna be shuffling through anyway. Anyway, yeah, exactly. That's so, like the whole, yeah. At first, when people started putting out the like EP, whatever that means, and it had like four songs, six songs, like, you're like what, the, what is this? Yeah. But now I get it because it's like we're just gonna go through it. So you can put out maybe four of those in a year. Yeah. Then trying to put out like one art, like you're a huge artist, you know, waiting a year putting something out. Yeah. I agree with that. Nah, for sure. We definitely got some singles on the way. With some cool singles. And then, can we talk about TikTok? Or do you have any challenges? Do you have any songs you want us to do something to? I don't know, dance. I'm gonna try not something with Steve. Okay. I'm gonna try some. I'm, I'm gonna just have fun with the video and see, see how it come. I just wanna like have like just fun. Like most videos, most times I shoot videos, I kind of just be like, you know, focusing on like how I want to look. And I just like this video coming up Monday. I just wanna have fun. Bro. I'm just being there having fun. Whatever comes up when the camera comes up, like the camera's just gonna illustrate how I was feeling that day. Okay. 
So I just want to go out there and just have fun. You know? Exciting. Yeah, comes up, comes up, yeah. Exciting. All right, we ask everybody that comes on the show. If they can go on tour with everybody, and you kind of told us mm-hmm. who you would pick. And then we ask features. So we have your first round of features. I'm not going to tell you because if you name the same people, then that's just really what it is. And you want to manifest those people. But give us three features if you could pick anybody, unlimited budget. Oh, and I said dead or alive because now they got AI. Mm, I wouldn't even do an AI song to my dad. For like, real? I feel like it's disrespectful. Tell us about that. What is that? I feel like it's disrespectful. Like, like, what if Tupac? Don't, don't like it. Don't like it. <laughs> so like, yeah, I feel like I'm just You forcing you know, these people to work with yeah, you? Yeah, like, you gotta let them like let them let them you know let them rest, bro. Let them okay. let them they're dead, let them rest. <laughs> you know, I'm a huge Tupac fan, but I wouldn't AI Tupac on my songs because I love his music so much, but I feel like it's disrespectful to his art. You know? Okay, okay, I feel it. It's his his voice. It's like we we were in it. I like being in the studio with people and like getting like a real vibe. So like, oh, having right. an AI on my song is just like it's like a artificial Yeah, song. like you wrote the verse yeah. and you just have the AI say yeah. it in their voice. If it's not real, I don't know. That's a respectful approach, Rider Day. All right, then give us your three alive people, unlimited budget, who you would do a feature with. You gotta remember my three Drake, Kendrick, and Cole. But I, I, what I do is, I, I give you the three artists that I want to do a song with that's like not like that big. There we go. Quinn Miller, mm-hmm. I'm gonna do a song with him. Uh, I said Quinn Miller, uh, Kyle, Super Duper Kyle. Oh, I like Super Duper Kyle. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. His music, I feel like people don't know who he is. His music is so fun. All he knows is the I Spy song, but like, if you listen to his music, Kyle is fire. Kyle is his. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Damn. Quinn, Kyle, man. Who's the third one? This is a solid one so far. I was not expecting Kyle. No one's ever said Kyle. Hell yeah, I fuck with Kyle. I fuck with Kyle hard. Uh, man. You got me stunned. I'm gonna say, for my third artist, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Benny the Butcher. No, wait, no, I'm on. I'm like, I fuck with Benny, but like, okay. nah, I'm gonna use my third artist. If this dude was free, I would want this to be him. I, I would say, take it. Take it, okay. Take it. He take might it. get out of jail. I'll see him someplace that Mr. Travis. I hope. <laughs> yeah, I hope. I fucking take it hard. That nigga hard as shit. I only have heard like one or two take it songs. I got no idea. He's hard as fuck. But the people love him. He can hard as shit if taking this free. Or if, if, if Joe Budden come out of time, I'll take the Joe Budden. Joe Budden, you wanna make Pump It Up part two? Nah, he he got songs. He got he got hella he's just got with solid. I mean he pump it up like the only mainstream singer, but like yeah. he got new music, like the mixtape. Mm-hmm. He got Red Machine, No Love Loss, All Love Love. He got albums that like fire. I feel with Joe Budden. Joe Budden, respect Joe Budden's discography. Go listen to it. Nah, Joe Budden fire. You know, I mean, I feel like he's like a troll. Like, I mean, people just, That's like, what I mean. People like, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 he be talking this shit, but like, his music though? Okay. Oh. So, so he deserves to be able to talk how he talks about yeah. people. I mean, anybody does, I feel like. You know, it's a free country, but like. No, no, but I mean, he has the skill to the critical. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Give me your money. Well, right there, is there anything else you want to tell the people? Um, Lil Steven, at the end of August. The curse somewhere before the Steven, so maybe in the middle of August. You know what I mean? We got more music coming out, the merch coming soon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna do a freestyle. Hey, what's, hey, what's, what's the name of that show you on, bro? Um, it's called The Corp. The Corpse? Corp. The Corp? Yeah, it's Corpse. Corpse? I mean, it's not pronounced Corpse, so it's spelled like that. It's like one of those type of words. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like My man, my man, Glenn and Jeremy, they got a movie coming. They, they own this uh, movie called The Corp. It's gonna be on streaming or it's gonna be on like a theater? Netflix. Netflix? Alright, check it out. We'll put it in the description. You can follow him. Whenever it drops, y'all go fuck with that. Cool. Alright, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. 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 Thank you and let's get to the freestyle. Yes, get to What's it. Up? Yeah. Ride a day here. Tap tonight freestyle. You feel me? Y'all go like, subscribe, comment, all that. Shout out to DJ Quick, Westside. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be real good, you know what I mean? Easy shit, you know? Uh. 
Look, go grab a book so we can get on the same page Niggas in my city, they dying and we the same age Corona rise, I'm feeling like this shit man-made Niggas posting by me, they might as well be my fan page Rampage, niggas talking, need more action All these niggas, they my sons, I can be Joe Jackson And the killer run up on me, bet the heat go blasting I'm a little off like she killed free throw hats Fuck a tech and blow the whistle, let's get niggered in this bitch Hopscotch, leave a nigga on the pavement in this bitch And it's coming off the dome, I'm amazing with the shit And I'm good with counting numbers like amazing in this bitch Got two bitches for the weekend, three bitches for the weekday So I just need two more bitches just to make my week straight Catch me in Miami like I'm trying to watch the heat play Record when we fucking cause she like the instant replay I took her to the crib and saw the thing she wanted sweepstakes I won't spend a dime on that pussy, I'm a cheapskate When she blew my candle, you would think it was her B-Day For peeps sake, she I need to get sponsored by EA Her head was in the game She amazing with the brain I ain't Tory, but she gave a nigga head Switching lanes Young black getting money Niggas know we can't complain I ain't you and you ain't me Niggas know we ain't the same as day Yeah DJ Quick Shout out to DJ Quick, man West Coast, me here, man Tam tonight, freestyle Y'all go download this uh, YouTube uh, Like this, comment on this Subscribe Everything I need to do, man Tam tonight Like, share, subscribe, leave us a comment. Yeah. Thanks for watching.